So guys, I've been playing with the Pixel 3 that Google sent me for a few days now, and I really like the device, but you guys all know like a big thing with me for iOS um, and Mac OS is that I love iMessage. Like, I do not want to go back to Android because iMessage is just such a big thing in my life and my friends and family use it. Like, you can tell me all day, like, use Facebook Messenger, use um, whatever type of other mess messaging programs are out there. Um, but the fact is, a lot of people in the United States use iMessage just because it's like the default messaging app on iPhones. A lot of people have iPhones, so that's where that comes into play. If you don't use iMessage, then especially if you're in really big group text messages, you're going to get lost messages, you're going to get really crappy poor quality pictures and video. So instead of me just complaining about that, I thought, hey, let me look into it to see if it's possible to get iMessage on Android and the Google Pixel 3. It is possible. So watch this how-to, see if you want to do it for yourself. It is a little bit involved. It's not super complicated, like you don't have to learn how to program or hack or anything like that, but it takes a little bit of effort. It's not just downloading an APK from the Play Store. Um, it takes a little bit of effort, um, and there are a few little issues with it here and there, but if you want a way to get iMessage on Android, and maybe when you switch back and forth between Android and iOS devices, you don't want your friends and family to know this is a great little uh, tutorial, so let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, we have the same like iMessage on my iPhone and my Pixel 3. You can see the um, name on the top is the same for iMessage and the Android variant, and it pretty much matches up perfectly. A big thing though, it does keep the quality of the video and the images, so if someone sends you a video or an image to your Android device on iMessage, it looks perfect, like it looks just as good as it would on your iPhone. Okay guys, so I have the professional how-to setup going on where I'm gonna show you how to do all this. So, um, first of all, you just wanna go to wemessageapp.com slash setup, and this website has a really good guide on how to do everything, so, I advise you to use that website more than me. Like this is just a quick little how-to so you guys can see how to do this. Um, and you can make your decision if you want to follow through with completing it yourself. So first of all, you have to install Java, like the Java development kit. So what you wanna do is just go to the link on their website, I'll, which I'll put a link to it as well. And you wanna download the Java development kit and you want to download the Mac OS version because obviously we're using Mac OS to do this. Because that's one thing, remember, you have to have a Mac device to get the server to work. So basically you just download the JDK, um, which is right here. Oops, I have to accept the license agreement or whatever. You wait for that to download. It's a 246 megabyte file, so it could take a little bit to download depending on your internet. Take that time to um, recollect on your life, sip some coffee, think about how much you're a failure, so stuff like that. Okay, I have already installed it before, um, so I don't need to install it, but obviously you just install it like any other download. Um, once you have that, it's pretty simple, like the next, the next thing you can do is just move forward with installing the actual um, Wii server, which that's like the backbone of how this works. So just to um, emphasize, this is a two program program to get it to work. So first thing we're gonna do is download the Wii server. Okay, so then once you have the Wii server um, set up, all you gotta do is just do the run.command. You just click that. So it's giving us some security problems. So you just do right click and do open with terminal. And then you just press open. So that will kind of force it open. Um, and now basically it validated the JDK so it knows we have that installed properly. And now all we have to do is just um, set up the iMessage. So um, use your email address that you used with iMessage and it's asking for a password. Do not make this your password for iMessage. 
This is just a password to connect to the server. The reason why I don't, the reason why I say don't use your iMessage password because honestly, we don't know how these passwords are being stored. We don't know if they're secure. Um, I don't know. So we're just gonna make it testing one, two, three, exclamation point. So we started the server. So now we are like good to go. Like that's, it's not that hard guys. Like just because it's a two part thing, it's not that hard. And guys to get it installed on your Pixel 3, all you gotta do is just go right here and go to the Play Store and download WeMessage. It's pretty simple. You can see that right there. And then when you open it up and get in for the first time, so it's going to ask you for a few pieces of information right here. So your IP address, your username and password, and then it has like a um, failover IP address. I didn't use that, no need to really use that. Um, so the email address is the email address for your iMessage and the email address you put in to this um, server program. The password is not your password to iMessage, it's the password that you set up here, just keep that in mind. And to get the IP address, all you have to do is just go into your system preferences and then you click network and then you click advanced. And then after you hit advanced, it's just the IP version four address. So I'm not gonna show you guys mine, but you just put that in to the program. Okay, so if everything worked okay, <laughs> like it should work right now. So um, I have iMessage on my computer so we all know that that's the beauty of iOS devices. They all just sync together. So here is my iMessage set up right here. Um, it's just a test, a test message to myself. So we're gonna type test, uh, testing to make sure this works. Oh, it autocorrected that. Works, oh, works. There we go. So then it's going to come up. So then you can see it right here that it works perfectly on WeMessage, which is like iMessage, of course. You can even see that it works on my iPhone as well. So it's like full iOS um, iMessage integration. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, a few things I've noticed, guys, so it seems pretty legit. Like if your big thing about moving to Android is iMessage not working, this will, this will make it work, but you always have to have this server on. So in the event that your internet goes out at home, if your power goes out at home, it's not going to work. Um, also keep in mind, if you're in like a really big group message, your server may have trouble keeping up with like all the pictures and video and processing them. Um, so that's another issue. So the reason why we like iMessage is that it's super reliable and you don't really lose messages and the video quality and picture quality is really good, which that's true with this. Um, but as far as like the messages coming in reliable, like in proper order, this may um, just prove to provide some issues with that just because the way it works, it has to go through your computer first. It's definitely like a work in progress. And I don't really know how much better they can improve it until Apple releases like a legit iMessage download from the Play Store, which that could probably never happen, but it works. Let me know what you guys think. Um, are you gonna try it? Or do you think this is just a huge waste of time? Hopefully not that. Um, try it out for yourself, let me know what you think. Um, also keep in mind, if you wanna use iMessage outside of your Wi-Fi network, you have to do port forwarding, which that's a, no, a whole nother video in itself. I will link to the how-to video that the WeMessage website actually posted that's much better and more, in, more informational than this one. Have a great day, guys. See you later. Bye.